Hey guys, welcome back. Tomatoes, poppies, and everything gardening. I'm Heather, and this video is all about my post tomato plant growing season and the plants that I grew to give away, to donate, and to sell. So we're gonna talk about all of that. It's like week nine-ish for my plants. Most have left my home, which is wonderful. Um, there are still few here, and I'm gonna spin the camera and show you how they're doing and what needs to happen now. This is the confusing part. Um, this whole growing all these seedling journey and it's because i still have orders going out i still have requests coming in and i have no idea where to plant my own tomatoes so let's have a quick look at the plants so i'm kind of trying to get organized this morning because a lot of these plants some of these plants are my plants i haven't even planted my own plants yet except for a few cherry tomatoes but i had an order come in for my husband's work and this guy wants 10 tomatoes preferably the bigger slicer ones he really wanted all of the big daddy and i only have three of those which are right here technically um i wanted to keep three for me but i think i'm okay just to keep two for me one in my raised bed area one in the back on the deck these are still my hospital plants and cuttings and these are mostly for me so are those and then i've got a couple different orders here waiting this particular order I think the lady may have ghosted me, so if she doesn't get back with me by Tuesday night, I'm going to donate this whole bin to my daughter's friend who wants to start a garden. Um, these are going to Kentucky. I have just a few for Kentucky this year. We usually send to four people. This year we're only sending to two. So those plants are going to travel over state, two state lines. Um, oh, okay. I was going to drop those off when I go to Home Depot. This is for a friend, uh, so she's being gifted all of these plants. And I think she'll have a great growing season. Then I've got all my poor little seedlings over there that need to get in the ground. They are struggling and looking very hungry as well as all of the plants. It's time to fertilize again. You can see, see how they've got that yellow hint, that yellow hue going there. So today we're gonna mix up another round of fertilizer. Get everyone fertilized, but I need to get some plants in the ground. So priority number one, I need to decide. How many of these plants am I willing to give away or sell uh, for this guy who wants 10 plants by tomorrow morning? So I've got like uh, four black creme for myself. I can get away with just keeping two or three. I'll give him, sell him two. You can see where this gets confusing. I think what I really need to do is get my plants in the ground. Um, but let's go in the kitchen and have a chat about the post um, sell results how things went this season with the seedlings, what I would do differently. There are a lot of things I will do differently. So let's go have a chat. Two thousand years later. Okay, so many days, if not a week and a half, half has passed since that last clip or two. Um, so I'm gonna complete the video and go ahead and complete the whole seedling series that I've been working on since what? End of February is when we started, maybe beginning of March. Um, so I have some takeaways from this year's seedling sell and you know, it really, these are takeaways for me to apply next year. So I don't know if I want to do a plant sale next year. It really is a lot of work and you really need to stay organized. I'm not the best at organization. Uh, I get distracted easily and I give away stuff very easily too. So I do have a few notes and uh, I'll share those with you and my future self. I can watch this later and kind of maybe um, have direction for the years to follow. I do enjoy growing the plants. I do enjoy gifting plants to people, uh, making people's lives happier with these plants. Um, I do not like the business part of like messaging people and pricing and dealing and I even had a bartering situation this year, um, which is kind of funny because this customer was my customer before. And last year he had a big order with me. He bought like, gosh, 10, 15 plants uh, from just two varieties. I think he bought, one was Ace 55. The other was some other indeterminate red tomato. So this year I just thought, well, I'm gonna message him. And um, he's like, you taught me how <laughs> You taught me to save my seeds last year. You told me what to do and I did it. And now I have a bunch of Ace 55s and this other variety that I sold last year. And I'm like, that's great. <laughs> but he didn't want to buy from me this year. But he said, I will barter with you. I will give you some of these Ace 55s that I grew 
if you give me like I think he wanted one of the indigo rose and one of some other plant I had grown this year so I'm like okay and then I messaged him later after he responded to me he said I'm gonna go dig them up out of the ground <laughs> I'm like, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. You can just have these two plants you want for free. And uh, I left them down in my mailbox and he picked them up, but he left the Ace 55s for me as well. He did repot them into some nice new soil and they were really nice um, and looked healthy. So I kept them. I still have them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, so it was a lot of just dealing with all that little nuanced back and forth people like to do. And so for me, the way I advertise for my plant sale this year is the same as I've done the last two years prior. I just post on my Facebook neighborhood group pages. I pick like two or three that I know that I'll go check and that's it. I don't do any other like um, random, like a uh, buy and sell group for my local area. I just do my neighborhood and that's it. So I didn't get a lot of business this year compared to the past two years. A lot more business. Um, I think the the frenzy of plant uh, selling and buying and growing from seed, I think that has really died down in the last year or two compared to 2020. So I didn't have a lot of paying customers from my neighborhood, um, but my husband thankfully saved me with his work. He was able to kind of garner up four customers, uh, two were prior customers, and I was able to sell the bulk of the money up uh, well, the plants that made money to those guys at work. So I do know how much that was. That was 125 for four people at my husband's work. And I think I made about maybe 45 from the Facebook groups. Um, keep in mind that when people come to pick up their orders and also my husband's uh, friends to work, I gave them bonuses. Like everybody got extra free plants. And towards this whole frenzy of like getting rid of the plants, I didn't keep track. So I don't have exact numbers. I just, you know, started sticking plants in people's orders and like here, here's a freebie, especially with the herbs. Everybody got like herbs and a lot of the orders got a uh, extra tomato plant or two. Um, but I do have a few takeaways on varieties. And I have noticed this in the years prior, people do not want to try the really fun, unique varieties that I want to try. So they want beefsteak and they want red tomatoes. And I'm always, you know, growing all the weird and the pretty and nobody wants those. So I ended up with a lot of plants um, that ended up being freebies. Um, and I gifted a lot to um, neighbors, friends, family. So uh, estimating I sowed maybe 50 to 55 plants and that was about 170, the same as last year. And I gifted, I'm thinking around 125 plants to family, friends, and neighbors. And then I donated 62 or 65 to the food pantry. I can't remember which. And then I guess whatever is left is what I planted in my own yard. So I'm thinking maybe 50 to 60 plants is what I kept um, between like peppers, tomatoes, and eggplants. It might be a little higher, maybe 70. Um, and, and that's it. You know, I did lose about maybe what, 20, 30 plants due to some issues early on with the fertilization. That was one problem. Uh, that was week four where I lost some. And then the following week, I was still having a little bit of issue, a residual issue. And I think maybe 10, 15 more died, something like that. The numbers are not exact on any of this. I'm just sharing with you guys. Um, so the cost breakdown. So if you think about, I made maybe 170. The cost that went into all of this, I'm guessing was around 105, but that doesn't account for um, things that you can't put a price on. So that doesn't account for effort, time, or water or electricity. Um, the cost, uh, what I'm thinking I put into it is only for the cups I bought, the soil, the seed, and I way, way underestimated on seed because I'm like, I don't want to calculate how much I spent on seed. I don't want to have to look all that up. So I just guesstimated maybe $25, $30 for seed. And that was for like, let's say $340, $350 seedlings. Let's say I started with 350 seeds or more because not all of them germinated. I did have some germination issues this year. Um, I'm probably underestimating on seed cost. And then a fertilizer. I did buy a new bag of um, oh, worm uh, castings. 
and I also bought a brand new bottle of um, the liquid fertilizer but those will last for way uh, ways to go so I way under cost those like at five maybe ten bucks for both so and then you got to think about the time and the effort and so future me this is what I want to tell you and everyone else that's watching that wants info on having a plant sale like a homemade homegrown front yard yard sale type plant sale nothing professional nothing please think about your time so what is your time worth I wasted or maybe it wasn't wasted because I learned from this experience but it took me <laughs> several times to learn this the Facebook messaging and trying to like coordinate with people neighbors that is just not worth the effort the time it is very dysfunctional so if I am to do a plant sale in the future I will have a set date I will have a set time I may advertise still in these private groups with my neighbors but it will say something to the effect I will have the plants available during this time period from such and such to such and such um, and then here I am in my head I'm already thinking well maybe you could have a caveat that message me privately if you need to make other arrangements don't do that just have a set date and time maybe pick two or three days that work for you in your time and just have that posted um, I don't even have Facebook on my phone I don't keep messenger app I just when I want to check Facebook uh, for messages I have to log in on my laptop so that was really inconvenient for me and um, I'm just not gonna do that I'm gonna have a set date set time set price and I'm not gonna do the whole haggling or bartering although that wasn't such a bad deal um, you just gotta have boundaries and uh, I didn't do that I was trying to work with people and be flexible and meet people and that's gonna lead me into what I'll conclude with which was heartbreaking this year this is the first year I really felt upset with this whole plant sale and trying to sell these plants to my neighbors um, I had three separate customers bail on me at the last minute after stringing me along so the first customer she because I made a, a posting saying in about two weeks I will have plants available and I've, I've sold on these groups before so I kind of reference you know I've done this before blah 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 well this lady's like I really want three of the geranium kits please put aside three of the geranium kits for me that's what I want and she was very quick about it very firm you know she knew what she wanted so I'm like okay I'll put those aside for you so then two weeks later when the plants are ready to go home she just all of a sudden oh I've changed my mind I don't want them now well I only grew like I don't know six ish seven maybe eight of the geranium kits so then here I have all these extra ones so that was disappointing and then the next lady same thing you know with the first posting she started messaging me back and forth what do you recommend can you pick out one that will be low C can you recommend this or that and I did and then by the time I put my second posting which is like three to five days before the plants are ready to go to their home I went ahead and I typed up a big write-up on each variety like you know is it low acid is it indeterminate you know what size fruit can you expect what color so I sent that to her and then she picked out an order she ordered like 10 or 11 plants very specific order very specific plants put those aside for her and then she says she's coming I said okay great I'll be here after 1 p.m. and then at 2 30 she sends a message through Facebook saying oh my husband says we're gonna travel this summer we have no time for gardening so then her order got canceled after me you know kind of reserving it and then the third lady the same market uh, not marketplace um, that I had posted on it was she had been messaging me through there and then she started private messaging me she gave me a very specific order like three of one type two of another and then two of another type of tomato and then a couple peppers and some herbs I think her order was 10 or 11 plants and she was um, very confident that she was gonna come get this order and then just nothing no response and finally I <laughs> I ended up messaging her and I said I feel like you're ghosting me <laughs> and then finally I got a response and she's like well such and such was in the hospital and I'm like okay well don't worry about what I said you know you take your time and then days and days go by no word and then I check her like profile and her feed or whatever and there's like all these different pictures that were posted in the last week of them doing things and activities and happy times joyful and nothing about anyone in the hospital um, so finally I sent one more message and I'm like 
if you don't pick them up by tomorrow night at 7 p.m., I have one other family that need plants. And at this point, I was about out. I had already sold, gifted, donated, was trying to get my own plants in the ground, um, and then nothing. She never responded. So all of her order, uh, which is like a $35 order, went to my daughter's uh, friend who was wanting to get into gardening with her family. So that whole order got donated um, to my daughter's friend, which was fun. It's just the point of stringing me along for so long. Like I had been messaging with her for two weeks. So I do not want to do any of that again. It was very frustrating for me. And all of this impacted how I got and when I got my plants in the ground, because I'm trying to juggle all these orders and calculate and figure out what's going where. And I did have a tally and I did have, you know, I was marking it and keeping track. And then towards the end, I just gave up. It was just too much to keep track of. So your time, your time is valuable. My time is valuable. I do not want to deal with that situation again. Um, maybe I'll cut back until we get moved into another location where I have a permanent, uh, maybe outdoor setup where I can house all these plants. It is really um, almost overwhelming and a burden at a certain point of the seedling process to manage that many plants. And I've done fine and I've done it, but it's a lot of stress and it, it really does affect me uh, as far as my own gardening. And I don't want to do that anymore, especially um, by being let down so much. It's different when people are really happy to get their plants and they say they look great um, and they can't wait to plant them. Like that makes me happy. But the, all the disappointment of getting these orders canceled, that was just really um, sad. It was sad. Um, I did have a repeat customer that kept coming back and she uh, did kind of brag on one of my postings uh, that these were the best plants. Like her plants from last year and the year before had done, did phenomenal and she definitely wanted plants again. So that was good. Um, okay, I'm just gonna look at my little list here I made for you guys and see if there's anything else we didn't talk about. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. So 95% um, of my plants are in the ground now, which is great, but it's really late. It's like mid to almost late May. So. I was kind of disappointed about that, but they'll be fine. Uh, maybe it's a good thing because we've had some kind of chilly, kind of cool, rainy days. Um, I'm excited. I am so excited for tomatoes. I've been talking about it this past week. I can't wait to try this, this, and that. Um, so I'm really excited about all the varieties for this summer. And I hope you'll come back and uh, maybe do a garden tour with me where I'm showing you my plants. And hopefully soon by maybe first week of July, we will have something to taste. Uh, really, really excited. and. I don't know. What are you growing? What are your thoughts on plant sales? Will you ever consider doing it after I've complained so much this season? And um, I don't know. Just thank you for being in the journey here with me. And I will talk to you soon. I hope you're having a great gardening week. Bye.